Good evening. Can everybody hear me? Let me turn this down. Yeah. Is that better? Um, well, so I thought I would start tonight with a piece from my book. Um, it's about my son, who I have three sons, and my oldest is now in his early 20s. But when he was about four or five was when this whole idea of talking about philosophy with kids began to sort of germinate in me. And so I thought I would start uh, with him, fittingly, and with a little excerpt from the book. It's actually the beginning of the book about a conversation that I had with him. When my oldest son, Will, was around five, we loved to read Arnold Lobel's Frog and Toad stories together. One evening, we were reading the story, The Dream, from Frog and Toad together. In the story, Toad has a dream about starring in a play. And in his dream, his best friend, Frog, sits in the theater watching. As Toad performs, Frog starts shrinking until finally he can no longer be seen or heard. Toad screams for Frog and, waking up, finds Frog standing right by his bed. Frog, is that really you? Toad asks. Frog assures him that it is. Toad, utterly relieved, spends a, quote, fine, long day, end quote, with Frog. Will and I began talking about dreams, about some of the dreams he'd had, and how real the dream in the story had felt to Toad. Do you ever have dreams that feel so real that you wake up and for a little while you're not sure it was a dream, I asked? Yes, Will responded. And then sometimes I wonder if I'm dreaming when I'm actually awake. I mean, could we be in a dream right now? What makes you ask that? Well, how do you know you're not? Do you think there are differences between the way dreams feel and being awake feels, I asked him. Dreams usually feel weird, like things happen in them that would never happen in real life. 